It's still early out in Cali, baby, don't you wanna rally again? Find a road with no name, way back in the slow lane Skies dropping Jupiter around us like some old train We'll be rolling down the windows, I bet you we'll catch a nice second wind We don't have to go home, we can leave the night on But we can leave the night on Good morning and welcome back to my channel. Sorry, my hair is messed up. I actually already did my workout, but I didn't do an intro. So what you're about to see is a glute and core workout. And this is more of like an endurance-based workout. So it's higher reps, so you would do less weight. So a lot of the things are like 3 by 20 3 by 15 something like that. But it still burns because you're really burning out the muscle. So I hope you enjoy it. And sorry, I was kind of like... I was by myself, so it's hard to get footage, but you get the gist of it. You'll still see the workout, how to do the movements, so I hope you like it. Okay, so the first exercise are sumo deadlifts. So like I said, I did 3 by 20 here. So with sumo deadlifts, you kind of want a more of a wider stance, and so you want to be wider than hip width, than, <laughs> wider than hip distance apart. And you want to just come down really feel the stretch and you have kind of a little bend in your knees, come up and really squeeze your glutes at the top and focus on that mind-muscle connection at the top of the contraction. So this exercise is great for your hamstrings, great for your glutes, great for everything. As you can see, you guys might notice I don't actually do heavy deadlifts or squats ever because I actually have a really bad low back. So whenever I do squats or deadlifts, it's going to be lighter weight, but you still get the same great workout. Um, I just use the preloaded barbell here. You can use that as well. You can use dumbbells or you can use just the squat rack like usual. But like I said, I have a bad lower back, so I'm taking it easy and I am doing a bit of a lighter weight. Okay, and we are supersetting that with banded hip ups or hip thrust. So if you don't have a band, you can do this without a band. You can use a dumbbell and put it on your hips or just do it with no weight. It'll still burn out. So again, we're doing it three by 20 here really burning the glutes and if you put a lot of resistance and like push your knees outwards you really feel it even more in your abductors so banded hip ups are just a great little burnout to superset with a lot of your lower leg exercises um, I'm using the slingshot hip circle here but really any bands work I just got this from bodybuilding.com and I love it and here I'm just showing you, it is all guys in here in the weight room. Where are the girls? Like, there needs to be more. I'm always just alone here. But that's okay. It doesn't bother me. I still get a great workout in. Um, and this next one, I am doing sumo squats. So again, I don't use a super heavy, a heavy squat, um, a heavy barbell. I mean, I use a preloaded one. I think I'm just doing about 60 pounds here. So for the sumo squat, like the sumo deadlift, you want to have a wider stance with your toes pointed slightly outwards. And then you're going to come in as low as you can, come down to about parallel or below, come up and really squeeze your glutes at the top. This one is great for your glutes, another great workout. Like I said, this workout is mainly focused on the glutes, but of course you also feel it in your quads as well. All right, and we are super setting that with hamstring curls on the yoga ball. So these ones, you really have to have a tight core here as well. Um, in order to keep stability and although you're not using like any weight you are using your body weight so I find that these hamstring curls actually really work my hamstrings and I always feel pretty sore after them you can also do them single legged which is also a really great workout but for this one I'm super setting with just regular hamstring curls and here I'm also doing 20 reps so just keep your butt up keep it tight and just bring your hamstrings in and it yeah you'll feel it you have to readjust because like I said you might lose your balance you can put your arms straight out um, on your side to help you a little more if you find you lose your balance so for this next one I showed you I have this plate on the floor so I am doing curtsy lunges here and the reason for the plate is so that your your stabilizing foot is elevated so that when you come down for the lunge you get even lower than you would if you didn't have the plate so again, this is the curtsy lunge, so as opposed to coming straight back, you're coming at more of an angle to hit more of your abductors and um, really focus on your glutes as opposed to just coming straight back, which also targets more of your quads. And so this one really burns. I did three by about 15 to 20 per leg, and 
it was a hard one. And then right after that, you're going to come into frog ups. So again, I'm doing it with a band. Frog ups is you just want your legs more outwards and have your toes pointed out and really have a wide stance here. And again, you'll really hit the medius part of your glutes and the abductors. And then the tricep, we are doing lateral walks or like crab walks that are banded again, just side to side, 15 per side. I also like to do a barbell with that sometimes, but this one I just did unweighted. And then right after this, you're going to move into banded glute ups. So here are lying glute hamstring raises, whatever you want to call it. So you just lay on your stomach have the band above your knees and you're just going to bring your legs straight up and it may look easy but it actually really burns your glutes and you feel it in your hamstrings again it's a great burnout so this is kind of like a quad set here you'll do 20 reps for that and then moving on to the second to last leg exercise glute exercise we are doing the abductor machine here i'm showing you i do it stand it up it just hits a different part of your glute it also hits more of the media section as well as the abductors so I like doing it this way and I can go heavier when I do it this stance but here I'm just showing you that you can also do it just seated this is normal and it is also such a great workout but you'll probably have to go a little bit lighter weight if you do it this way but it's really great for the outside of your glute then I followed it with a few core exercises so here I am doing a stability ball crunch so you literally just lay on the yoga ball crunch up and it's just a great burn for the abs. Next, we are doing um, pikes with the stability ball. But then I also show you, you can just do knees to your nose here. You can just do like a little reverse crunch as opposed to the pike, which is a little bit more advanced. And then the third exercise here is Russian twists. Russian twists are one of my all-time favorite ab exercises. It's great for your obliques. And this year, I was really trying to build up my obliques, and I found that this exercise um, really does the trick as well as this exercise which is oblique v-ups that I love so give this workout a try I hope you enjoy it really burning out the glutes and the abs and it was such a great workout I was sore for a while after so I hope you like it all right and that was the workout again if you try it let me know how you feel I am burned out I am tired and I'm on my cut still so being low in calories I'm just like like, was kind of dragging during that workout. I don't know if you could probably tell. But anyways, I hope you liked it. And don't forget to like and subscribe to see more. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.